we've been talking today should Christian brands have guidelines? So, mm-hmm. uh, Dice, I think uh, let, let's put some some meat on it. You know, we, we gave them a mm-hmm. lot of our mm-hmm. opinion on it, but let's see what the Bible say. Yeah. No, I mean, we should always go to the war. Romans 12 and 2. Let's, let's just kick it in. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Just because we have a clothing brand doesn't mean we do it like everybody else. You know, that's why we have CHH. We're not trying to do it like everybody else. You know, you can be in whatever field you want to be in. This is a stipulation. If you put Christ and God and even have it in the title of your business, I'm going to need you to really guard that. You know what I mean? And if if you're a Christian brand, you should at least have biblical guidelines of accountability, you know? Um, and be led, be led by the spirit. Like I know the Holy Ghost ain't tell you to do that. You, you should be in step with the spirit, you know, and, um, and, and when you're making decisions and you're, you're affecting people. I talk about this all the time here on the show. I'm like, we're leaders. And if we're leading thousands, millions of people, uh, we should lead well. 